Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Sagittarius and it will not resonate with every Sagittarius cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Sag or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested in that, click the join button below. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right, y'all, what's going on with my Sagittarius Collective? <laughs> what is going on with the Sag Collective? What do they need to know at this time, Spirit? Okay. So we have abundance. We have karmic connection. Shocking events. And first love. Okay. <laughs> So either you guys are going to have some type of new love coming in or let's see what's on the back of the deck mirroring. Oh, oh there's some type of, you know, for some of you, this is a twin flame connection coming through. There's somebody that you and this person both need to heal. You guys are both mirroring each other. Um, yeah, you guys definitely both need to heal or maybe you and another person healing is attracting is like kind of manifesting something to happen between the two of you this could even be somebody that you haven't even met yet but that you have a soul tied to or a soul connection to i see financial blessings coming in for you i see financial independence i don't really know what this karmic what's up with this karmic connection timing so maybe i don't know if it's so much a karmic connection it may seem like it's a karmic connection because it's been full of turbulence and it's just like just so many obstacles and issues with this person that it could feel like they're a karmic, but spirit is saying that the timing is not right for you and this person. Maybe somebody needed to find financial independence. Maybe that was a big part of the reason why this connection was um, unsustainable, why it wasn't working out. Okay. Um, it's almost like, I feel like someone did not realize, like expect you like catch feelings for you or to fall in love with you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. It's like either somebody needed to work on their money and find financial independence. And that's why things were really not working out between the two of you or you're being blessed. You think that this connection could be a karmic connection, but spirit is saying that the timing isn't right. Bad, bad timing, waiting for the right time, patience needed. Stringing along. You were maybe thinking that somebody was just stringing you along. You maybe even thought they had a third party. But there was something interfering. I don't know if it was necessarily another person. I think it could have been money for some of you. What was the shocking event? Or tell me more about timing and karmic connection. Timing and karmic connection. <sighs> yeah, somebody has low self. Somebody needs to work on their self-worth. Maybe you guys both do, do need to do that. Yeah, somebody has a hard time accepting love and opening their heart. All right, we have abandonment issues. Validation of self-worth, low self-esteem. Give me one more card. Thorny. So like you were dealing with, you were maybe chasing somebody. Yeah. I feel like that's what spirit is saying that you were maybe chasing somebody because out, out of low self-esteem or needing someone to validate your self-worth. Um, and I really feel like you fought for somebody, but like, it just wasn't working out. You thought that they were worth it, but you were dealing with somebody that was lustful possibly. And somebody that was not ready for a commitment. So it didn't matter how hard you tried or you chased this person. They just weren't ready. That's what spirit is saying. Like they're not ready. Like, yeah, there's something that this person knows your worth. If you thought that they didn't know your worth, they do. All right. They know that you're unique. They know that you stand out. They know that you're very attractive. Um, yeah, I feel like that's what's going on. You guys are kind of like trying to make somebody something work with somebody really hard, like a lot. You're putting a lot of effort into making something work with somebody, but spirit saying that like there was nothing. This person just was not ready for commitment. They didn't matter what you did. All right, so what's the shocking events? So what about old school? Separation. So wish come true. Boundaries. 
you guys maybe abruptly broke up with somebody or what is old what does this have to do with anything old school somebody's in their in a mental prison about what overthinking what about okay and what's that mean for this person okay what's this mean for sag hmm someone's at their breaking point getting some type of clarity they're not gonna be able to move on from you yeah i feel like you're in separation from somebody right now Give me one more card to explain to me what the surprise is or the, what's unpredictable. What are they not predicting? Passion? They weren't, somebody wasn't expecting to, it's like almost like somebody likes to take things slow. Or maybe somebody thought that they could take their time coming toward you. I feel like somebody felt like they weren't going to feel so drawn to you and so passionate about you. I definitely feel that somebody's in their head overthinking, creating scenarios, thinking of you a lot while you're in separation with them. And they're thinking about the future. They're thinking about taking things to the next level. They're thinking about choosing you. You want an equal give and take. I definitely, you're in separation. I'm still not seeing what the, the tie to old school is. What is old school? Old fashioned thinking. What is that? Like, tell me more. Children. Okay. Love. So this is somebody that needs to grow up. Yeah, somebody is very immature. They need to grow up. It's almost like somebody was saying that they maybe wanted to take things slow with you, that they did take you seriously. But I feel like you didn't feel like you felt like they were unpredictable. This person needed, it says sacrifice for love must give up something. There's something that they're not wanting to give up or, or let go of or make a decision about to be with you. And it, it could just be simply that this person needs to make the decision to grow the hell up. Like they're immature. Hmm. But I definitely feel like they weren't expecting to have these feelings for you that they have not be able to move on from you. Tell me about first love and what this means for this person. See, this is somebody that, oh, this is somebody that's realized and I feel like after the fact that they took you for granted. Because we have no one compares to you. Yeah, they're realizing that like you're irreplaceable. They can't move on from you. So this is maybe future energy or it could be already happening for some of you. But it's like somebody's going to start realizing that they won't find another you. That you are, they do did have true love for you that, yeah, they, they took that for granted. Taking for granted, unequal give and take, not feeling appreciated. I feel like this person had a hard time believing that you loved them too. When I feel like you guys definitely did. I feel like you guys really fought hard and made a lot of sacrifices. You chased this person and they still couldn't accept your love. They still couldn't see it. I don't know. So tell me about unvalued and first love. Single? What about single? Bad intentions. See, that's what I'm saying. They didn't feel like they could trust you. This person chose themselves. They chose to be single because, or they wanted to take things slow because they felt like they, what is single for them? Yeah, you guys are focusing on yourselves. Yeah, I feel like you guys, I feel like this person was taking you for granted so now you guys are you freed yourself from this uh, there was maybe an abrupt ending between you and this person but i definitely see here that you got i feel like you ended things with this person what is this person not seeing coming what is this stuff that's going to be shocking to them what about soulmate phone call what's this mean for sag see they're they're real they're like they're good you're gonna hear from this person all right and it could be out of the blue them talking about they want you guys to be together they weren't expecting this this to find such a strong connection with somebody they're gonna tell you that they want to be together 
want to talk about it, want to communicate, want to come in and make something up to you, express something to you, put actions behind their words. And it's now that you are choosing yourself. You're no longer settling for being taken for granted. So I feel like you definitely ended things with this person. Yeah, an abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication. They were not expecting this for whatever reason. You're focusing on you, looking good, um, because you were sick of the inconsistency. You were sick of the unpredictable, unpredictability, the lack of clarity, the mixed signals. Um, this person like was not wanting to accept th this for what it was. What's knowing the path? Yeah, they 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 made a dumb choice. They are playing games. They are playing. They were tricking you. They were not taking this as seriously as they should. It's like they kind of knew that this was something different and they still played with it. They fumbled it low key. Like they, they knew that there was something different about this and that it was something that would be good for them or, you know, that it would be the right path to go down. But they played games. Why did they do that? Why did they play these games? Okay. Why, why do they play the games? Why? It's almost they're testing you. I'm telling you, this, this shit's crazy, y'all. This is crazy. I don't understand people like this. I know this stems from like past trauma and stuff like this, but it's like this person knew. This person like was trying to test you to see if you really love them, if you really were gonna stay. But I feel like you guys did do a lot of things to show this person that you love them. I feel like you chased them at some point. You made a lot of sacrifices, but it was never enough for them. Like nothing was ever good enough for them. So they need to feel the absence of everything that you've been doing. Okay. They need to feel the absence of everything you've been doing for them so that they can realize that they've been taking what you did do for granted. Cause I feel like you did do a lot and they couldn't even see it or they, it just was never enough for them. They're definitely going to start. They didn't feel like they could trust you, but they're definitely going through this love activation and uh, love activation going through this, um, ascension awakening awake. Why am I talking like that? Awakening, um, during the separation, but yeah, this person was definitely trying to test you to see if you really love them. If you would leave, Ugh. this person was like playing mind games or playing games, just trying to see what you would do, testing your reactions. That's ridiculous. Honestly, y'all. So that, yeah, because they want to do, that's how this person builds trust is by playing games. Like it's gross. I don't know. Anyway, so what's going to happen going forward? Yeah. Runner avoiding the connection, running from themselves, ignoring you. Okay. What about it? What about, what about forever change? So what's I do it? Toxic. Somebody is like finally letting go of some toxic changing here. I do see that. Not good for you. Low vibrational, toxic. What is this? Somebody's mad though. Somebody's angry. Why? Because they can't let you go. Your love haunts them. Telepathic experiences can't escape the connection. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're feeling triggered by this. What is. Yep. It's almost like the more you pull away, and the more you focus on yourself, the more drawn they feel to you, the more they feel like they want to come toward you. All right. Like. It's crazy. You're not really like purposely trying to manipulate this person, but it's just like you are choosing yourself. And it's like it make because that's what it is, guys. It's like when you love yourself, when you know your worth and you stay, you're standing in your power. People are drawn to, the, to that energy, right? Especially people that wish that they had that energy, want to embody that energy. Yeah, that's what this is. It's like the more you pull away and you focus on yourself, the more this person is going to regret, feel, want to fix things, want to come towards you. That's how it always works. That's like why you, people always say like, I had just felt like I was over them and I was happy and I was doing well. My money was good. And here they came, here they come because you and that person, what was that card that I just had? I don't know what happened to it, but it was that card that talked about you and this person that can't escape the connection. You guys have telepathic, you have some type of like cord or telepathic communication. Um, they will be able to feel that. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're going to be in heavy regret here, y'all. I'm telling you.
they were run. This person's about to start chasing you. So the more you're going to start running from them or not even running from them, just focusing on yourself and you're not settling, you're setting boundaries and they're going to start chasing you. I'm telling you, I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen at some point. What else do they need to know? See, what about plastic? Finality. Hold on a second. Twin flame. What? Love offer. They may need to put to an end some type of, or maybe something is, if they, things are very surface level between you and this person, it, that's about to change. I'm telling you, <laughs> there's about to be, yeah, intense soul connection. This could be your twin. I think I already mentioned that with the mirroring and that cycle that you, where you feel like things have been very surface level and not a, you thought it was not a real love connection. There's something coming to an end. They're coming in with some type of love offer or this, I don't know, this could be even a brand new person for some, why, as I said that we have new love coming out, there's someone better and a new love interest, letting go of exes. So what does this mean for this person they've been dealing with? Yeah. The love bomber. What about them? They've been holding back. Yeah. They definitely have a fear of falling in love. But they're about to maybe take a risk. What are they going to do? Yeah, the risk card really wants to come out. What are they going to do? Yep, they're going to want to come and build a solid foundation with you. Offer you something more secure and stable. Now, yes, now that they you're the forbidden fruit. Now that they feel like you're moving on without them. Now that they, yeah, it's something about you is very tempting and alluring. It's, I feel like it's because you are focusing on yourself. What is making like this? Yeah, it's like you're in this very like this empress, emperor energy. What about liar strategy options? What are they lying about healing? Hmm. This is a lot of cards flying out. What were they not being honest about spirit? What were they not being honest about? See, what about my rock work? See, it's something to do with, like this person was telling you that they were more secure or stable than they actually were. What is that? Why were they lying about this proof? This could have been them lying to themselves because they didn't. Why did they not believe that they What a proof of what? Boundaries, yeah. They could maybe even try to start dating again. That's not going to work out for them. <laughs> or they maybe feel stuck on you. They feel they can't move on from you or date or there's something here. They were not being honest with you about something. Work, money, I definitely see that. I don't feel that like they were as stable as, as they maybe portrayed themselves to be. See, what, what are they, why were they lying about a love offer? What about love? Beauty, why were they lying about that? This person, why has this person not been wanting to tell you that they do love you, that they think you're beautiful, that they think you're different, they think you stand out, they, they're they intimidated by you. They, they view you as all that they've ever wanted in a person, wish fulfillment, dream person, but they've not been telling you this. They've been, and they, they've, they've just been repeating the same cycle with you because they can't get out of this mental prison, but this person's head over heels for you, but the past is what's keeping this person stuck and keeping them resistant. They're not wanting to release the past. They're not wanting to change. But this connection is really triggering them because they are not able to move on from you. Let you go. They feel you. Could be unlike anything they've ever experienced before. That's what they're lying to you. This person's trying to play it off like they don't love you and like you're not, they don't view you as the one and it's not true. They know that there's something special about you. They know that you're the emperor or the empress, right? But they try to play it off like they don't feel that way. It's 
said they've been trying to wait until they get some type of proof or certainty that you are it and that you will not leave them and that you guys are going to have something that you do love them and that they can trust you. They have major trust issues. Four of Pentacles in reverse. See, you guys were get you guys don't even realize how much of your abundance. Like some of you guys were actually giving this person money. For others of you, yeah, you and this person are not on the same wavelength at all. You're in this very abundant energy, and they're in this very financially unstable energy. Like they're in this very un you're in a very stable energy. They're in a very unstable energy. I feel like you were very giving. It's almost like, how do you say that? Like you had a lot, you, you had a lot to give to this person. Like you are in this abundant energy. So you, you gave to this, you know, you were open and you gave to this person. They are always like, like, what's the word? How do I say that? They're always in this energy of lack, right? So they don't give so easily because they don't have that much to give. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Hmm. The Ace of Swords. What is that? Someone's realizing that like something just can't work, that something is unsustainable. Um, somebody's emotionally immature. Like so somebody's realizing that something cannot work. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody's self-limiting beliefs um, is really putting a, a wrench in this situation. Um, I feel like this person feels like you're trying to move things along faster than they would like, to be honest. I feel like they're distracted by other things. They're just immature. I feel like you're, you're, you're growing impatient. You feel like they are unreliable. But the thing is, is that there is love between you and this person that you guys just have not been able to you know, um, work as a team, or there's just been all this disharmony, lack of fulfillment. And it could be also because somebody has negative indulgences, like somebody indulges in something that they shouldn't. So what's happening going forward here? The moon, the king of wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here, Pisces, death, Scorpio energy. Something is changing. In what way? Two of wands. Oh, so if this person did have a choice to make, if this person had, like, they were trying to juggle you and something else, or they had a decision between you and something else, maybe one of those choices is going to be gone or is it being eliminated. So I see them coming out of no contact. I see them coming toward you, or they're going to maybe give up on something grow tired what's that mean for this connection yeah two of cups leading to a union ah what was the other situation what was the other path mm. if it wasn't the choice between you and something else this person was maybe trying to let you go right they were trying to get over you they were trying to let you go they were trying to suppress their emotions they definitely need to heal right but I feel like they were going to let you go. And then for some reason, it's like they're almost having a change of heart or a change of mind here. Why? Because they feel like you are their 10 of cups. What does that do with Sag? Why is that not moving? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're not happy. That's what it, it's like. This person's not going to be happy without you. I kind of see them get into a more stable place financially, but they're still not going to be fulfilled. Why is the key? What is the illusion? What is the fear? Yes, fear has been keeping somebody stuck in old karmic cycles, clinging con to control. Somebody doesn't want to rush into anything. Somebody doesn't want to make a bad, rash, quick, too, too quick of a decision. And they're trying to prevent like a, a bad ending or a tower moment from happening here. But I feel like that's on their only reason they're thinking that way is because of past experiences. It's like, they're not giving you a fair chance here. So what are they going to do in regards to Sag going forward? I don't know. I don't see anything happening right now. 
they're still stuck in their head at the moment. They're waiting. Yeah, they're not doing anything right now. They're still not seeing it. They're still not seeing it. They're, they're not wanting to see it. Yeah, they're still like in this guarded, protective energy. It's like they're almost trying to guard their heart. Like they do love you. Like they do. They just don't want to fight. They Yeah, they don't want to fight. They do want to make things right. They don't think that things are over, but they're trying to figure out how to come toward you. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to come toward you and offer you something after there was some type of painful ending between the two of you. And they think that maybe you don't even love them anymore. Yeah, because you, you're not giving them the love anymore. But I do think that they're slowly coming towards you with a new perspective and a new outlook. But for right now, they're still, they're depressed. They're anxious. They're in despair. They're thinking very negatively. Um, they have some blockages and obstacles that they need to overcome. They're still being very resistant to change. Um, they're maybe trying to see if something else will work out too. I can see that. What are they waiting on? What is this three of wands? I feel like they're trying to just be happy. They're trying to see if they can just find happiness, like without you. Like, I feel like this person's dead set on being like, I don't need Sag, which I mean, they should find happiness within themselves, right? But unfortunately, this is the kind of person that needs like outside validation. Like this person's about to realize that they're not as healed as they think they are. Or they're like, this person's been like thinking like, oh, I'm healed and I don't need another person to make me happy. And I don't need another person to make me feel fulfilled. They're not there yet. Like, and they're going to realize that, you know what I mean? Like they're going to realize that they're not quite at that point yet. And I just feel like they're just going to feel like something is missing without you in their life. But I think that they're trying to wait until like they are they can get themselves to a good place where they're you know where they're in a good place and they don't need another person they don't need you. It's almost like they're trying to like prove you wrong or something like that. But and it's like they're they're lying to themselves though like they're they're lying to themselves. They're being delusional because it's like they don't want to make a decision. This person has a fear of failure. I think this person lacks confidence and commitments and living like living with somebody and getting married like they 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 have like doubts when it comes to that possibly because of like the their parents or their past relationships um but i'm going to take this over to the extended reading we're going to take a deeper look to see what this person's thinking feeling the future guidance timing all that will be in the extended reading the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.